Hi all, Andy from Solar Reviews here again and today I wanted to make a video about the Tesla solar roof. Elon announced this way back in 2016 with, and it caused a whole lot of media stir. Um, basically because the concept sounds cool as. The engineering was a bit more complex and it wasn't really to maybe 2018, 19 that these things really started to get installed, certainly in inequality. And even now, today, um, there's been a couple of iterations and you know some industry sources I talked to said in the, they thought in the second quarter of 2022 there was maybe 300 solar roofs uh, installed around the nation out of probably you know I would guess maybe about 150,000 solar installs um, done you know in the second quarter which would give us a run rate of about 600,000 a year which I think would be about where we're at. The big thing really that the Tesla solar roof did and the reason it did get so much media hype is it dealt with one really fundamental issue with solar people and that is a lot of people don't like solar panels the look of solar panels on their roof and aesthetics are a big thing like a home is typically you know most families biggest investment and biggest asset and so what it looks like matters a lot to people uh, and so uh, whilst I'm not a person that thinks solar panels look bad, I sort of quite li like the look of them. Some of the black solar panels and the new rackings, all black racking systems and the things really do sort of make solar panels, traditional solar panels look quite good in my view. But I guess the question comes down to, you know, is it worth it, you know, compared and and there's a couple of ways to look at that question. And so what I wanted to do in this video is really answer that for two different groups of people. The first group of people is somebody designing a new architectural home. I personally believe that if you're de designing a new, you know, mid to luxury upper end home, Tesla solar ro roof is, you know, something which I would, I would consider. Yes, it's gonna cost more than roofing and putting a solar system on, uh, however, it is really cool that your roof basically generates power and you can't really tell which parts do and don't generate power. If you have an existing home and you want to re-roof it, I'm probably less likely to consider it there. And probably really that's, because that's a much bigger market, people that have existing homes that are considering solar. But let me first talk about putting a Tesla roof on new mid-level to luxury level homes. Now, I think that's where the market is. And so I don't know what Tesla's marketing is around the solar roof, but if I was in charge of the marketing there, I would be really um, considering putting a lot of effort into the architecture community, but also listening to what architects have to say about what people want aesthetically. Because the big thing you're offering people is aesthetic sleekness. Basically, it comes in a very modern, sleek, you know, sort of glass look. If I was going to build a house and, you know, it was, let's say it was a million dollar home, and I know that that's an expensive home and not the norm, but yeah, I, particularly if I was using, using modern architecture styles, I would really think about the, the Tesla solar roof. One of the things that I think Tesla needs to tidy up a bit with its solar roof offering is they charge a lot for tear off of existing roofs. They charge about um, $3.60, I think, off the top, might not be exactly that, but about that um, for tear off and removal of the old roof. Whereas a typical roofer will only charge you about a dollar a square foot for that. So it is very expensive, but you know, over 2,000 you know, square feet, you know, you're talking 7,000 um, you know, bucks versus 2,000. So, you know, maybe what Tesla could be doing there is getting, you know, local roofers to tear off the roofs and, you know, there might be some savings there because, you know, there's no doubt there's some, you know, there's some aesthetic coolness, you know, and if you're building a home of a certain, you know, value, I think that aesthetic coolness will be reflected in the home, in the value of the home. And so I don't think, if you're building a new home and you're an architect designing a high-end home, I don't think the additional cost versus a traditional roof plus a solar system, you know, I don't think that will be a net negative. I think if anything, that will maybe be a slight net positive. That home might actually be worth a little bit more. And so Tesla's model is, uh, you know, essentially to sell everything through a website and to get cost efficiencies, you know, through basically not having a distributed sales or support network very much. I'm not sure that's the right model 
if they want the solar roof to get the scale. My big concern about the solar roof is it's gonna get canned. And, I, and that would be sad, I think. Like I, there's certain teed, and I think there's one other company, I can't remember the name of it, that's also making these similar type of integrated roof shingles uh, and trying to make them so that the active components look the same as the, the non-active. But I really would like to see somebody make this really work economically but at three or four hundred solar roofs a quarter even at a thousand solar roofs a quarter this i don't think is going to be an economic business line for tesla and so one of the things i would be concerned about buying it right now is whether they're even going to keep making it in the future it needs to get support and i think if they want to get it out there in bigger numbers i think there's as i said there's a viable market for new home builds uh, particularly luxury new home builds. Hopefully Tesla come out and tell us a little bit more about how that business unit is going because if it's true what you hear in the industry that there's maybe only three or four hundred Tesla solar roofs installed in Q2 of 22, you've really got to ask yourself are they going to keep doing it and if they don't do I want to be the one home that has some technical issues down the track with this solar roof when they don't make it anymore and the people that were in that division are deployed to other divisions and there's will there be anybody a left to answer the phone and b that actually has spares or the knowledge to go out and fix it. Which does lead me to another issue with the Tesla solar roof versus traditional solar panels. Service of this product concerns me. And so typically, you know, you, most people know that with, you know, your standard shingle type roof, you know, you've got a layer of plywood and then you're nailing shingles down to it. You know, if we have a similar system like this, how easy is it to diagnose issues with this system and how easy is it to service and replace it. I may be unfair to raise that issue because they may have it really all dialed in, um, but what I do know about all companies, and I wouldn't, you know, sort of point single out Tesla in, 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 in any negative way for this, but it's much easier to learn how to build and sell a product than what it is to provision for how it's going to be serviced over the next 25 years. And so that, to some extent, you know, concerns me. These Tesla solar roofs are made up of both active tiles and inactive tiles. So an active tile is just a roof tile. Uh, uh, an active tile is a roof tile that's a solar cell that generates electricity when the sun shines on it. And so with each of these roofs, there's a percentage of active tiles and a percentage of inactive tiles. And so the active tiles are said to cost about $1.80 per watt, but they don't really say what the inactive tiles are as far as I know, other than the total price usually works out about 20 and a bit dollars per, 20 something dollars per square foot for, for the whole roof. Typically these systems, if you're gonna install a Tesla solar roof, I suspect you're probably a, you know, somebody that really likes Tesla. And I, you know, I'm down there with that, you know, we own a couple of Teslas in our company and, you know, me and several other family members have Tesla Powerwalls in some, on some of our solar systems. So, you know, Tesla are a good company and they make good stuff. So, um, you know, it's, you know, mixing them, having the idea of this, you know, branded stuff of all being Tesla some people will really like and, and lean towards that and I think that's cool and you know what I will say about the Tesla solar roof you know in summary whilst it may, may not necessarily be the cheapest outcome to get a new roof and a solar system it is very cool and I really really hope the product survives and flourishes um, I would consider buying it um, if I was designing a new home or a high-end home at this point I would ask about those questions though, about well how much of it do you sell, what long term commitment is there to this product if you're not selling a lot of it at this point, and how is it serviced. Do they have to rip half your roof off to service this if some of the tiles um, fail? Um, I don't know. I don't suspect a lot will. You know, the, the good thing now, you know, it's 20, 2023 and you know, they first talked about this in 16 and brought it out in 18 or 19. So it has been around for a fair while now. I don't expect you will get a lot of failures with this. Um, 
you know, and more, you know, whilst initially we saw failures with power walls, you know, we're seeing less and less. It's, it's becoming a relatively rare thing rather than, you know, a somewhat common thing a few years ago. So that's all I really have to say. Uh, if you want to know how much solar your home needs and, you know, how much battery storage you need, then jump on our website, solarreviews.com slash solar-calculator. Uh, the link's in the description below. That will, that's a really good open calculator. It's really accurate, it takes into account your local utility rates, your local weather patterns, and what your typical usage pattern is for a home in your area, you know, both over the course of the day and also over the seasons of the year. So um, you can see that. You can jump on there and you can play with that. You can change assumptions, your financing assumptions, interest rates. There's a whole lot of stuff you can play with. You know, you can jump on there and you can choose to get request quotes or information from between sort of one and four solar companies. So that's all for now. As I said, if you've liked the video, like and subscribe. You know, the more people that do that, you know, the more time I'll spend researching and thinking about, you know, solar, um, and try not to give you videos that are just repeating spec sheets. It's I, what I try and do is, you know, sit on the mower and, you know, think about something for a few hours about what I really think about it and then come up with that perspective, you know, of being in the industry a long time. So if you find that valuable or useful or you want to hear more perspectives about other issues or products or things in solar, you know, like and subscribe and, you know, we'll bring you some more content when we can. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe and check out our other content.